We had some technical difficulties, but we have recovered. I know. We could have been on this biatch 40 minutes ago. At least. At Left least. work early. I was ready to go. I know. It's I apologize. Right. But we're getting it's there. It's part of the part of the game. It's part of the learning curve. Part so. of the game. All right. You ready? Let's go. Let's go. Welcome back to another episode of Diego and Sam Know Nothing. Happy Unholy Week. Happy Unholy, Happy unholy week. week. Yeah. There's an alcoholic beverage. Let's It's up. Unholy Week. That's right. Um, we'll get into that. Not oh, right now. Oh, man. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to talk a little bit about that Not here right at now. the end. Somebody asked me what Unholy Week was. Oh, man. I didn't know what to tell them. I know. I it's no a, idea. Yeah, it's a crazy, crazy time right now. All right, so... We have a couple of things that we want to discuss. <laughs> Jeez, are you all right here? Ooh. All right. All right. I'm good. We yeah, have, we have another things. busy episode, though. We have another yeah, another jam-packed one. Uh, so first up on the docket that we got. Well, maybe we should run through what we're talking about today. Maybe give everyone a little preview. Lightyear. I think year. that's probably, yeah. We got Lightyear first. Then we got a Elvis. little bit of Elvis that Elvis we want to talk quick. about. And then Obi-Wan. And then, yeah, we'll wrap it up with some Obi-Wan and then what we got coming up next. So we'll do that. All right. You ready? <laughs> I'm ready. I, yeah, it's All right. Let's see. All right. So Lightyear. We went and saw Lightyear. Yes. Yeah. That, that was. Uh, I, I don't really know what you thought. I, I, I don't know we if we talked about much, it too no. much. No. Um, we should talk about things. I know. Before. Maybe we should discuss yeah. this before we talk about it in front of people. But I think we both sort of. Went in with one idea of what it was going to be and then left thinking yeah. it was something totally different. Which right? is okay. It's, it's fine, fine when the it's movie's fine. good, yeah. but I, I did have some issues with this movie. And my main problem with it was it wasn't the Buzz Lightyear that I'm used to. And that was a bummer. But did we know? Should we have known that? I think we should have. I think that's my fault. I, I think that's my fault. Well, that, that was mine. I like, think that's, yeah, that's on me. That was my confusion too, because I went, I, I went thinking I was gonna watch a movie about space rangers. Right. So I'm yeah. like, Yo, Buzz Lightyear, the whole space force, like an elite squad, out in space, flying, doing missions. Right. That's what I was expecting. Yeah. And it wasn't that. No, it was not. And not to say that it wasn't bad, but I, I went so dead set on what I thought I was gonna see. Yeah. And someone's like, well, didn't you watch the trailer? And I did. Uh, yeah, I, I watched did. watched all of them. Exactly. And I still thought I was going to see... A space, space ranger. ranger. The right. guy only opened his wings once. I know. I know. Well, and I didn't know on that note, because we do get the space rangers in this movie just at the very end. And what I didn't know is that this movie was an origin story. Yes. I did not I understand did, I that. Know that. I did know. not when it because it was called Lightyear. We saw previews of him going into hyperspace. Mm -hmm. I did not understand that he was not Buzz Lightyear the toy yet. Correct. He becomes that at the end of the movie. And that's where my confusion was. <laughs> Me too. So again, maybe I need to rewatch the trailers. Maybe I didn't quite understand. But I thought that was what I was going into. You know what I think it is? It's because we are not children. No. And maybe we did not understand no. the essence of this movie. No, because this movie is made. Again, it's a Pixar movie. Yeah. It's made for kids. It's made for kids. So I think a kid from their eyes would see things a little bit differently. Interesting. Because I, I, I do think it's well established from pretty much all of, all of our episodes <laughs> that we don't know anything. We do not know so anything. So I think it is beneficial to see to be able to see things from a different set of eyes. And to have somebody ha have a real professional I agree. talk on that topic. Yeah. I think that's something we should uh, do right now. Well, I think let's go ahead and call in the expert. Hey, Luke. How's it going? Here's our resident expert on Pixar movies. A true professional. Absolutely. This guy's seasoned. He knows what's up. He's a veteran. No doubt. We know nothing. He knows everything. That we, there needed, is uh, know. we need an expert here on the show to help clarify a couple things. So, Luke, we need to know. What did you think of Lightyear? I loved it. Oh, really? All right. All right. Let's hear it. Let's hear why you loved it. So I liked like the whole thing because it's about him teaming up with things and 
he learns that he it's okay to live on a different planet. Oh, that's a really good point. Because、uh-huh. I would be scared to live on a different planet, and all Buzz wanted to do was get home, or keep moving forward、mm-hmm. to complete the mission,、mm-hmm. and he was never、mm-hmm. okay living on that planet, was he? No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. But he learns the lesson, and that's what's important. And、that、I think、is. in a lot of Pixar movies, there's a lesson to be learned. Yeah. Oh, yeah.、Do、Absolutely. You, what, Luke? Do you think like was the lesson that everybody learned, or Buzz learned? Or what lesson did you learn from this movie? I learned、um, it's a happy with you, what you got movie. A happy with what you got movie.、Mm-hmm. Okay, can、mm-hmm. you maybe tell us a little bit about that? Well, ah,、uh, like,、um, like he was. I don't know. Like, I think it was more like like about the planet. Okay. About the happy with what you got. Okay. I think it was also like a team up movie. Okay. Yes. Yeah. That's right. It was a team up movie because Buzz Lightyear kept wanting to do things by himself,、mm-hmm. huh? And then he, then he finally finds out if we work together, then we can do it. Uh huh. Yeah. Who's、right. your、uh, favorite character? Uh, I think I like like all the characters. Oh yeah.、Okay. Did you think this was <clears throat> a funny movie? I think it was more of a cl- cool movie. It was more more cool, cool. than it was funny.、Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, I could see that. I could see that. I think it got cooler the longer it went. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't. Maybe it was a little cool in the beginning, and then it got really cool at the end. Yeah. 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 Can you tell me some of your favorite cool parts? Uh, I like when Zog threw that spaceship at him, and then he went in it, and then he did like that jetpack. Oh yeah, that's my actually my favorite part. Yeah. <laughs> he, I just wanted to see him he, fly. Yeah. When he ejects, I and wanted then he to finally has the jetpack. Mm-hmm. I agree. That was、That's、probably my、want. favorite. Yeah, I like、uh, when he finally puts the lasers on his arm, and he's using、yeah. the lasers to shoot people. Actually,、uh, did like when they had like the invisible, and they were、like, oh, navigating、yeah. through all the bugs because it、oh, reminded、yeah. me of、uh, Army of the Dead when they're all and, oh the yeah, and they're like having they're to be like, quiet. Everybody, don't move. So I thought I that was I thought that was like a cool piece of tech. What did you think was the oh scariest part of the movie? Is what I was going to ask you. Um, I think I don't know. I don't think like really of it was that any、uh, like scary. You don't think the movie was scary at all? Can、no. I tell you a part that scared me a little bit? What? And maybe you can tell me if you agree or not. I think I like a little bit scary when he like goes past the sun, or when he like, or when like Sock says like like those bugs are hybridated. Oh and yeah. And then they come back alive. Yeah, <laughs> that、yeah. would scare me too. <laughs> It's gross. So the part that、uh, scared me a little bit was when,、um, when the girl had to go through space and get to the other side with socks. Mm-hmm. Do you remember that?、Oh, yeah. And yeah. she was just floating, and then the ship started to move. Yeah, and, and then you think that she's just gonna go forever, but she、yeah. grabs on, and then socks keeps going. And do you、yeah. remember what she does? She grabs socks. She grabs socks. She saves socks. I didn't see the part when the ship moves. Yeah, because she—that's why she she's perfect. She gets it right, but then the、mm-hmm. ship moves a little bit, and then that's when she starts going into space, and that's why she gets a, a really <clears throat> scared. Remember, she was scared, and then、yeah. I was a little scared because they just showed space, and there was nothing there.、Uh-huh. Yeah, <laughs> so that part scared me a little bit. And what scared her is also like when Socks said, "Like there's space all around you." Yes, exactly. Socks was making it way worse. Yeah, yeah. The, <laughs> way worse. The over accurate sidekick. Yeah, <laughs> the very smart sidekick for、yeah. them. <laughs> Um, well, Luke, is there anything else that you'd like to talk about?、Uh, uh huh. All right. What else? So I think like the funniest part of the movie、mm-hmm. was when Sock said、uh, that I know I don't wear pants, but it kind of feels funny to not wear pants. Yeah. <laughs> when、oh, they yeah. finally get their suits at the end. Yeah, even, that was the even best. Even Sock's got a little suit. Yeah. Yeah. Because they, they put a little suit on Sock's. That was a funny part. I think we all laughed at that part. That was. Yeah. That so was now、really、the main、good. question. What are you gonna rate this movie out of ten? So ten being the best, one being the worst, five being just okay, eight being pretty good, nine being pretty great, seven being all, all right. What would what you, you give、think? it out of ten? 
I think I would go for seven. Seven? Wow. That's so solid. This was That's all right. solid answer. It was an all right movie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Pretty all right. Not mm-hmm. your favorite Pixar movie. Could you recommend this movie to other people? If any of your friends ask you, just say, yeah, you should go watch it. Or you say, nah, just wait till it comes out on Disney+. Plus. Yeah. Should they go see it at a movie theater or should they see it at home? Movie theater. Movie yeah. theater. Always. I agree. 100%. I agree. Wow, Luke, thank you so much for helping us out here. We did not know uh, what to say about this movie, so your expertise has really helped us today. Thank you. The only professional we've ever had on the show. Thank you for coming here and helping us. You're welcome. All right, let's get moving. On to the next one. All right, man, glad we got an expert to tell us what it's really all Love about. Facts. It's being... It doesn't get any more honest than that, let no, me tell you. No, it doesn't. 100%. And you know what? It's about it's teamwork and being happy with what you got. Yeah. I love it. I'm going six out of ten. Oh, that's low. That's still passing. Yeah, sometimes. Listen, I enjoyed, sometimes. I enjoyed this movie. Yeah, but I, I, get I was it. just I was I was thrown, and it started off great. It was really good, yeah. and then it just it didn't get as good for me towards the end. But I like was really thinking I was gonna get some like serious space action. Yeah, I could see that. You know, but he's like falling in a black hole. I I don't know. This is a child. I know a ch- it's a movie mean. for children. I don't know why I thought I was gonna see a black hole, but I really thought I was gonna see like space adventures. Him going around the sun was probably was like crazy, some of the yeah. coolest that, things see, that yeah. we, that I we saw. See that yeah, for, but I really did. For I, I could. You know, Luke gave it a seven. I could go seven. I could see that. I could be yeah. like somewhere in there in the middle. Yeah, between the six yeah. and the seven. I get it. I get it. Yeah, good deal. All good right, deal. Lightyear. Still recommend it. Good yeah, movie. Yeah, definitely check it out. All right, next up. Last night we did a thing, and that thing was Elvis, Elvis Fan Presley. Event. Fan Event, yeah. We a lot got, of fans. We got a nice little poster. A lot of fans cool. at the Fan Event. I know. We should have gotten there fun. a little bit earlier because they were doing some stuff before. That was my bad, but um, I thought we were going to have previews. I always thought. Is, but like, that's I how know. a Fan Event like, should thank be. Thank God. Give me some stuff with the cast and crew. I know. And then start the Fan Event. Exactly. I don't give a. I'm not there to see yeah, what other movies I don't care. are coming out. I'm only here for this movie. So I think they did that so well. We should be shooting on there 10 minutes earlier. I wasn't even thinking about the time. No, I, I wasn't even thinking. I did not think um, we were going to have a video. I don't know why. I no, There I usually like, is something. And yeah, I didn't yeah, yeah. think. I didn't even think about it. But there was a lot of people that was super interesting. Yeah, it was good, though. Like, the vibe was good. Yeah, everything was good. Yeah. Nobody clapped at the end. I know. That's fun. That's always a nice time. But we went in, and I I didn't really know what I was expecting. Talk about... Okay, okay so I... Because I've, I've seen both trailers. I watched them daily. Oh, it's right. I, I was it's watching right. these trailers daily, and I thought I, like, had... Like, such a good idea of what I thought the movie was about. And That's then, what like, I was going to say. I didn't say. know what was going on. Right. That's what I was going to say. And initially, that bummed me out. Because you go in. I and, agree. Um, the colonel's telling. So, Elvis, his manager, is telling the tale. Of Elvis. Of yeah. Elvis, the way he saw it. Right. And that was the entire movie. Yes. And the narration mm. does throw me off. Correct. Yeah. So, we get in there. He starts it. Well, after Elvis has died, basically, and the, yeah. everybody in the world is saying, this is your fault. Everything that happened is your fault. And he's old. He's in a hospital bed saying, I, no, none of this is my fault. I'm, I, sh- gave you, I gave you the world this man. Yeah, you get, guys should be thankful for, for me. I get the sense that because he's dying, that he's reflecting on, his, on everything, right? And that yeah, was, yeah. That's, this movie is sort of reflecting on what yeah. happened. So it's like a dream i guess right it's sort of like a life flashing before your eyes sort of situation right so but it tells the tale of elvis from a young kid to a teenager yes to being in his late 20s 30s yeah all the way to his death yeah yeah and initially when i got out i was like oh okay but the more and more that i sat on it and thought and i went back and played certain scenes on my head and i heard those songs again I was like, I feel so much better. Initially, when I got out, Austin Butler's all I could think about. Yes, I, I agree. He did such a phenomenal job. I thought he played it so well. He really, to me, felt like when you say, oh, that, like that. And I hate saying this because I do <laughs> oh, think it's so shoot. stupid. And I'm not going to say it. Why? Because I still don't believe Because I don't believe say it. Say it. 
that oh he was born to play this role. Oh, I don't no. believe anybody was born to play a certain role right. in a character. No, I don't believe that. Right. Or whatever. But he born. embodied yes. Elvis. Al- Austin Butler was not born to play Elvis. He just right. wasn't. He was a good actor and looked similar and all this stuff and sounded and everything. And yeah. That's you know ultimately why he got the role because he's a great actor. And then he became Elvis. Right. Through his training and his research and everything. Oh, yeah. That's how he became to be so good at the role. Because because when you watch his interviews, he's like, dude, I was like, this guy's reading books. I watched every movie. I was like, that's. Yeah. He became Elvis and was so good at it because he researched the part. He's a professional. He's a good actor and he did really well. Absolutely. But that's all I could think about was, wow, this guy did such a great job. Every scene that he was in was just phenomenal. Like it was so good. He did such a good job at everything, his emotion, Fantastic. his singing, his body language, everything that he did. I was like, man, this guy. Oh yeah, great. you you really so feel great. like you're watching yeah. Elvis. Mm-hmm. I mean, absolutely. I mean, within five seconds, you understand that you're watching Elvis. Yeah. And I agree with you. When I got out of the movie, the best part of it was Austin Butler. Yeah. And I really hope he gets some kind of recognition for it. He has if he, to. If, he even has if to. he's not an actual contender, nominate him, put him up there, for give something. him some recognition because man, yeah. this guy just did a phenomenal job. And he said for like a for like two years, two and a half years, something. He's like, this is all I did. He just yeah, he just like, he became Elvis, everything, which like, this shows was everything. It absolutely shows. Yeah. Tom Hanks, too, I hated the character, which, again, I think speaks to how well he performed. Yeah, because I wanted this guy to... Yeah, I wanted him to get it, right? I wanted him to get his. Mm -hmm. And, again, I just think Tom Hanks is phenomenal, doesn't do a bad job, continues to do it. If he gets a supporting uh, role nom, I wouldn't be upset about it Mm -hmm. at all. At all. And it was funny because a week before, probably almost exactly seven days, I started researching everything. And, and a lot of everything I researched was exactly what the movie was about. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not a huge Al- I'm not. I'm, right. I don't have you, Alvis posters. Right, like, right. I, I like the guy. I like his music. I like his movies. Yeah. But I'm not like a diehard Alvis fan. So the research that I did and what I was shocked to find out about was actually what the movie was about. The drugs and stuff? No. It was actually about like everyone like wanting to have him arrested and like i don't want oh, my kids yeah, watching yeah, yeah. him get him off stage i was like i didn't know any of that well like the way he moves and see like that's awful you we kind of have that guy yeah so, so when i was reading it i was like what the hell like i didn't know any of this so i was like right. oh cool maybe i'll touch on that in the movie and the whole second act was about him doing performances and acting this way and yeah like no this get this guy out of here well and get so, him doing like families are watching yes Get him in a suit and tie and have him stand still right. and sing a song. And they always said that there was... Because when I first saw the movie, or when we saw the movie and I, we first got out, I, was, I remember the scene where the girls kind of like feel like they're getting possessed. Mm-hmm. But they do say that. They do yeah. say that like it was like like they were getting <clears throat> possessed. Like yeah. fans of Elvis were being overcome with these feelings and they didn't know what to do because he was new and different. Yeah. It was just like crazy for them. And so, uh, the movie does touch on that really, really well. Mm -hmm. And people just like, it was like, it like a Pleasantville situation, like people feeling emotions that they said you were not allowed to feel and becoming alive. Mm -hmm. And then they were just trying to shut it down. Like, no, we need to go back to the black and white world that we lived in before. And I loved the Elvis was like, I can't, yeah, he's like, like that's no, not that's not me. Like, I can't. And again, we see do that it. in the movie, and he, it was done very well. Again, Austin Butler, like he had this. He's like, I can't. Like, I, I can't. yeah. When he was like, well, you got to do this. He's like, he gets out from that first performance where they made him wear the the tail, the jacket, right? The tail. Yeah, and, he, and like, he's embarrassed. He's like, I can't. He's like. Ugh, and he like has like a freak attack. Yeah, because they He's bring like, up this isn't my mute. This they, isn't who I am. They bring up the hound dog and yeah, they, yeah, and they embarrass him essentially. But he like did that so well, and I'm like, man, he's really upset about it. Yeah. Like he's doing, <laughs> man, this is great. This is good stuff. Well, and again, as far as the movie goes, the story of Elvis writes itself. You really yeah. don't have to do anything to make yeah. that a good story. Mm-hmm. It's it's already there on paper for you. Yeah. So what? I would expect then is for it to be elevated by the filmmaking. Correct. And that was the part I struggled with and I still struggle with mm-hmm. even right now yeah. is the way that the story was told. So <laughs> I didn't like it. And it's not it even fast. it's not even that it was so fast, but man, they're the cutting, 
all the editing style, right? Yeah. So this we have these like sweeps, mm -hmm. and it's just like, like news. Very clips, yeah, yeah. TV here's all this. Or... So it's one. There's a lot to look at. It's exactly. Yeah. It's one thing to say, okay, we're gonna go from this scene to this scene in three minutes, but mm -hmm. man, it's busy. It's busy the whole time. All of these things happening on screen at one time. Yeah. It's not just a shot of Elvis. It's a shot of Elvis, an airplane, a news clipping, mm -hmm. a, a, a radio. You know, him, it's like him performing. Yeah, him performing somewhere else. It's all of this happening yeah. all at once. That's why. I, that's why I said in our out of theater <clears throat> review, this is ADHD the movie. Like you, yeah, if you don't have nonstop. ADHD, like mm -hmm. I don't know if you can keep up with this thing because it yeah. is fast. And I got halfway in. I'm like, oh, this is. Okay, I got like I got to get on board with this because they're still doing it. I know like, exactly. This is what the move like. All right, I, right. And you like, don't be not slowing down. We're still yeah because we're you, still going. Now we're in the mid '60s. We yeah. Just in the, like all right, let's it, go. It feels like in a movie when a movie first starts and they're trying to get you up to speed, right? Yeah. Here's the first ten minutes of us trying to get you to the present day, but like mm -hmm. it just does that the whole time. Yeah. It's just the entire time. And I get it. Elvis's mm -hmm. life jam-packed. Elvis's life was probably exactly like that. Yeah. Busy, crazy, unable to comprehend everything in front of him. I completely understand the mm -hmm. choice, but I think it's going to be difficult for the target audience. Because I think the target audience is probably older people. I don't think. It's not me. It's not us. I was, we, I was the That's youngest for sure. person in the theater yeah, last night. Absolutely. Thought, like, for sure. It is not us. It's going to be... An older crowd yeah. who I don't, who I believe yeah. would appreciate maybe a slower paced film. And I was thinking about this too because mm. it, I was surprised they did all of Elvis's life. And again, I saw the trailers. I know that that's what we were going to get. Yeah, like some as a kid. And, right. Yeah, but I thought that we were going to get, again, that happening in the first 20 minutes. And then mm. we were going to get the last part of Elvis's life. Yeah. And that's what we were going to focus on. Do you remember that movie Jobs? I don't know if you ever saw it. Ashton Kutcher? No. No. This uh, is... Uh, uh, one is... Or one is Jobs and one Steve Jobs. So I always get them mixed up. So the Fassbender? one... Fassbender? Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, I got it. I couldn't yeah. think of his name. Michael Fassbender? I've seen them yes. all. I don't... It's been a while. I thought that yeah. one was called Jobs, but maybe not. I don't know which one's called what. Jobs is Ashton Kutcher. Steve okay. Jobs is... Is the other one... Is the, okay... The Michael Fassbender Jobs yeah, movie, they did. They picked like three pivotal moments in his life, yeah. and they just did. They really did those, right? Yeah. And I thought we were going to get something similar with Elvis. Hey, let's pick. Yeah, yeah. The, let's pick the moments, the three important moments of his life. Let's focus on those and tell those mm -hmm. stories, flesh those out. Yeah. They did not do that. They no, did. No, they not. did every. They, they did, did everything. They did every single moment in Elvis's life. Yeah. And again, for better or for some worse, some of them are good, some know. of them are bad. Yeah, I don't know if that's good or not. But <clears throat> the stuff with his mom passing, like I, I really liked that mm -hmm. portion of it. That's Cause important because again, again, Austin Butler did such a good job. He yeah. said in an interview that Alvis lost his mom at twenty four, and Austin Butler also lost his mom at twenty four. Oh dang! Yeah. So someone's like, "Did that have an effect on you oh. at all?" And he's like. He's like, you can't say anything yet, but he's like, there's a scene when he's in Elvis's mom's closet. Right. And he's like, I, that was, that was me. That was exactly. He's like, that was, that, he's like, I didn't have to act. Yeah. He said, he's I, like, I, that he's was like, I, I remember I being there. 24 and Dang. my mom. Yeah. He's like, so that Dang. was, that was, that was Austin Butler. Was Again, like, it showed. And I was right. like, let's go. It's Acting so good. in this movie, top notch. Editing in this movie, I guess is I, good I, because of what they were handed, but. Man, I mean, I, I liked the music. I liked everything. I was waiting for the last performance, the Hawaii one when he's old, and oh, I didn't yeah. know it was a week, like weeks before his death. Oh, but yeah. I've always liked that performance. I thought it was really well. I heard all the songs I wanted to hear. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, exactly. I, I heard and, everything. And that's true. I, I mean, to hear. as far as Elvis fans go, like you're gonna hear the good. You're you're gonna hear yeah, the you're music. Gonna, you're gonna hear, you're gonna hear all the yeah. good stuff. Mm -hmm. And again, you're gonna see Elvis on that screen, which I think a lot of people are gonna like. Yeah. And so it's in that sense, I think it will be a good time. But this is like a I mean, this is like a ten episode series that we saw that would here. Be, that would be really cool. Yeah, yeah something like, like that. We, would like be really we saw cool. ten episodes in two and a half hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they and they, it it shows. And it definitely shows. But I I I personally maybe I was just so focused. I never got lost. That's true. I was never like, wait, wait, how do we get here? No, that's like, a good what, point. Wait, what, what do you what do you mean? How do, what happened? Like they right. explain it and then yes. they go to it and then 
Yeah. No, you you're. Know, they're not like Elvis just didn't show up in a magical mansion. Right. Build with stuff. You're they absolutely explained right. How he got there. That's a good point. Okay. Cool. Well, how did Elvis get over to Vegas and start doing that? Well, they mm. tell you again. It's quick. Yeah. But I never felt like wait. We were just in Memphis. Now we're in Vegas. Why? How are we over? How here did now? we get here? Like, how did we get to the international? I was like, whoa, that was that was quick. But I yeah. understood it. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I think a lot of it is just not probably fleshed out all the way. Yeah. But you're absolutely right. You're never wondering what's going no, on. I knew yeah. exactly what was happening. And for that, I do give the movie. And the thing I got to say it's to it, like, all the reviews and everything that people are saying, this is drama. T- it's a movie. Oh, yeah. A lot of it is oh, elevated. Yeah. And yeah. it's crazier. And it's this and that. Because it's a movie. There has is to, it crazier? There has to be an entertainment factor. Dang, I don't know. No, and, and I'm sure a lot of it is real. <laughs> but people are like, that, this is so chaotic. And they're over. This is such a... And I'm like... I think it was yo, chaotic. I think it was. How it was. I and again, it was. It's, it's a movie, so they have to make things. So and if, if it is upsetting some people, which apparently it is, just from what I'm seeing, it's, odd, it's a movie. But okay. It's got to be. Sure. It's got to. It's a true story. A factor of, of entertainment. It has yeah. to have entertainment value. Right. And the thing is, Elvis's family all approved of this movie. So that's. Exactly. Kind of the main thing that yeah, so I know, right? They're like, yeah, that's okay. That's cool. what it was. Yep. Then that's probably what it was. I know. Alvis is uh, the thing is the story is the epitome of like what can happen to you if no one's in your corner, right? Like someone, yeah. if if you're the cash cow for everybody, nobody wants you to go away, yeah. and you get nobody in your corner helping yeah. you out. This is why friends matter. This is why having friends, friends matter. family, like everything. I know, man. His dad was pissing me off the whole movie. I was like, like, was his dad like this yeah. in real life? Seriously? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go ahead and shoot him up with some drugs and get him back out on stage. Oh, yeah, my it, gosh, super, super man. Crazy. The big thing, so super quick, too, is there's a huge conspiracy with Elvis, just like there is with Tupac. But he's still like, alive? Just like there is with uh, Michael Jackson. Ah, but Bob, we saw him here. We saw him yeah. there. Yeah. Is Elvis still alive? No. King is dead. King is dead. King has left. King is dead. Elvis yeah. has left the building. Elvis has is left what the I building. Believe. Yeah. But after watching this, I could see like, fuck, I would have faked my own dead tomb gone the hell out of there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. I see what you're saying. There, there were some moments, because I've never seen out, like, I didn't see any of these moments until now. He was so locked in. Yeah. Like, my mom told me about these things, and I'm like, okay, cool. Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't care about any of that when I'm right. 10. Right. But seeing it. Like everything that he went through, I could see where he could be like, "Dude, I'm out of here." Yeah. How do I got it? How do I get out? I'm done. Where are you gonna go? I'm gonna go live with Tupac and Biggie yeah. <laughs> and Michael Jackson. <laughs> well, this was before them, but I'm gonna go live on an island. Yeah. Like they joined him. Yeah, they were <laughs> out with Elvis. They joined them. So no, I don't think Elvis is still alive. But there, there's a moment in the movie when I'm like, "Dude, he could he could have been like, dude, I'm, fit. I'm out." You're like, I would have. I would have yeah. faked my own death to get the hell out of here. Yeah. Jesus. 100%. What do you rate it? So I, I give it an 8. An 8 I is... I, an, I, an 8 out of 10. Um, Again, the main reasons being like, if I had to go again, I could. Yeah. If someone's like, dude, like, go with me. I'd be like, hey, for, first of all, it's almost three hours. Yeah. <laughs> Chill. So keep that in mind. Yeah. Oh, I, that's totally... Just go with me. I'm, okay, cool. As long yeah. as you know that, yeah. I'm cool going again. And I'll like 100% buy like a steelbook copy. Okay. Those are like yeah. your two ways to yeah. measure. If I, if I want to go again, yeah. if I want to spend $40 on a hard copy of it, yeah. like to me, it was worth it. Yeah. So I, I really enjoyed it. I had a good time. I get, um, I, I, it was fun, but I could see how somebody could not like it or it's like, that wasn't for me. Exactly. Wh- whatever. The style of the movie, I think it's going to turn people off more yeah. than what the movie is about. And, and I was hyping it up. I was so excited. And I wasn't hyping it up to other people. Other people just knew I was excited. Yeah. And that's just good. So people are like, oh, I'm, like, I'm nervous to tell them I didn't like it. I, I don't care. Like, it's fine. Nobody, if it's just, dude, this movie is a f- sucked. Cool. Like that's. But you know. I, it's, I don't. I don't need everyone to share the same opinion. Yeah. Some people thought Doctor Strange was the greatest movie of all time. I Guess know. what? It wasn't. But you even know fine. you even know it wasn't a nine, and no, that's no. and and that's the thing is like and, you and know a nine is a nine is a whole different level, a whole different like, level. Yeah. A nine is like, dude, I'm going back this weekend in IMAX again. Yeah, full popcorn soda, the whole deal bringing again. Everybody, like I'm going back. Right. Like to, like Top Gun for me was like, yeah, I'm going back. 
I'm seeing this again. In theaters. It was great in theaters. Yeah. And I this, get like I said, if I have to go back to this to see this movie again, if somebody wants to go, let's go. If I don't see it again, I'll buy a copy. I'll probably watch it again at some point. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, but I, for but sure. I had such a good time with it. It was a lot of fun. Good. I'm glad I got a poster. I'm glad you had fun at yeah. the movie and, that you and, were and that, yeah, excited about. Yeah, I was about. so excited about. Yeah, and it was. That's it was, the important it, thing. It was definitely worth it. That's the important thing. De- definitely worth it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You ain't nothing but... Elvis. So good. It was so fun. Good. It was fun. I'll give it that yeah. for sure. All right. Next up is something that... You know what? I don't know that we need to talk much about Let's anymore. do it quick. I just want to do it really quick. We'll do it Let's quick. talk about Obi-Wan finale. Okay. The okay, Obi-Wan so I'll, so I'll Kenobi you. finale. You're going to tell me what you thought? I mean, I liked it. Okay. But here, here's the thing. Well, so, okay. Here's the thing. Are you telling me, are you, t- are you going to talk to me about the last episode or now no, the gonna, whole I'm gonna, show? I'm going to talk to you about the last episode first. Okay. So I, I really liked the last episode. All right. You know, I liked the fight. I liked that Leia got, when, again, her, her, her outfit. Go. Yeah. <laughs> The, the thing that like was she's seri- 10. Why are you, what is happening here? The thing that was okay. seriously lacking from this episode, and there's nothing they could have done, no writer, no director, nothing, as at least for me, there was no stakes at all. Oh, yeah. Because everybody survives, and everybody gets to where they're going to go. Yep. Disney. So Obi-Wan buried underneath a bunch of rebel? Nope. Rocks, whatever? Dude, I know. He's holding them up. <laughs> Him slashing Vader across the face. Guess what? I know it didn't kill him. I did like when he was talking to him when his face was all yeah, which like, oh, is warm. Yeah. Warm, you bitch. And, like, the, and the audio was going in and out yeah. of his Vader voice, which so I really I liked that. I liked cool. that Leia got to where she was going. I liked that we saw a little bit of Luke. Like, that's all fine yeah. and good. But this episode does not make up for the entire season. 100% agree. It makes up for episode six because I enjoyed episode six. Right. It was very good. I liked it. Yeah. I wanted a good light to like, battle. This episode was good. Yeah, it was great. But okay. I'm not like, oh, guess what? Now the series is great. No. 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 It could like I was prepared for the episode to be that good where I could say, dude, I don't give a shit about anything else. Because right. that was so freaking sweet. I don't care about the first five episodes. Can I ask you a question though? Sure. Because sure. I I think I missed something and I wanted you to clarify it for me. When Vader's Goes to turns to Obi Wan and says, "You got your strength back." I know you're gonna ask me about. That. <laughs> Did you really? Because yeah. I thought about it in the moment. <laughs> so let's argue. Let's argue about this. Okay. Okay. No, ask your question first. Sorry. Well, I was gonna say, did I miss where he got his strength back from? No. Okay. No. no. I was one. I was like. Wait, do I have to go back and watch something? Where no. did he get his strength back from? No, so I said it in an episode. Maybe you go back and find the clip. Okay. Because I, I, I said exactly how it was going to happen, and then it did happen. I know this very conversation <laughs> was going to happen. Is, and maybe it's different. Star Wars and superheroes are like a whole different world. Yeah. But I just think there's something within a hero or a good person that there's that moment when they can just <laughs> boom and like totally. I'm strong again. Correct. Okay. And I and I see that more with superheroes. I, I see it more with superheroes because I've seen it with Spider-Man a couple times. I've seen it with Batman a couple times. Okay. Where they're just like, like just something happened or that one thing clicks. Oh, uh, yeah. I know what you're saying. It, 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 it's the whole, like, how can a mom lift a car off a bait? It's, it's like, it's okay. all, you're like. No, but boom! But and that did happened. not happen in this show. He I mean, flew it, to a planet, and then Vader met him there, and they were standing in front of each other, and he got his strength back. It wasn't like Vader had a, no, well, they, a lightsaber. They fought, they fought for a few minutes before it happened. But it wasn't so like he was getting the shit kicked out of him. And then I don't know. Vader said something to him, and then he's oh, like, "Oh, you he, have your." He got the flashback, I think, when he's like from. Oh yeah, well he flashes when back he's to... like, "Admit you're defeated." And yeah. that's when he's like, Bruh! like, no, I'm not. De- I think, I don't know, because I think that was also a, but I think it is, preview. I think yeah, it is that was sh- under the rubble. I think was it oh, okay. when he says, admit that you're defeated. Oh, okay. Okay. And that, and he gets his strength back before he gets all the rocks on him. Right. But to me, it's more plausible that a superhero could like a Superman could do but that. My point is that it wasn't like Vader had a lightsaber to lay his throat and then See, causing him to yeah. be like, so, so that, yeah, that would have been the moment when you're like, no, you're like, no, like, and I, nothing my strength this. is for saving people, not yeah. myself, not saving yeah. myself. Yeah, and that, that's what I'm saying. So that's what I think 
It is. That's but that doesn't play in the show. That no, that's no, no. something that you are. That's just yeah. That's you're totally, putting that in the show. Correct. That's totally. That's a, that is not explained. That's in totally there. a personal feeling. Yeah. Which okay. that would be my guess if somebody's like, "How do you think that happened?" And that would be my guess. Yeah, but that's fine. Is that his will's like, "I'm not losing. I'm not gonna lose." But that's not like, said in the show. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. But but because that, I was confused. That's yeah. why I wanted so to your ask. Your question you. is: ha- Had I seen it? No. Okay. That's just in my mind what I think. All right. Because that's I'm I'm guessing what I would do. Stupid. You if, know what? If someone's like, I'm gonna I'm gonna kill this puppy right now. <laughs> right. And I'm like, I'm not gonna let you do that. Right. All of a sudden, me who has no s- strength at all would suddenly be able to like fight off a man because I'm not gonna let you do that. Right. But you're but the power comes from saving somebody. Yeah. 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 Because I want to save somebody, not yeah. Or if I feel like I was in a fight and someone's kicking the shit out of me, and they're like, "You're a little bitch," <laughs> I'd be like, "Let's go!" Like all of a sudden, I'd get or something like yeah. that. So the I only, don't know if that's what happened to Obi Wan. Well, so what? What I'm, that's what I'm guessing. What I took it as was Obi Wan was still trying to get Anakin back. That's what I thought was happening. And then Ooh, yeah, I like the moment when Darth Vader says, you didn't kill Anakin. I did. Yeah. And then we kind of see a switch from Obi-Wan. Like, then my friend is truly dead. Yeah. Now I'm going to kick your ass. And I, again. Dang, now I'm having so much trouble recalling where everything fell in the episode. Yeah. Well, that's, well, that was, was that, at the end. No, that was that at was the end of the end, fight. Because it was the end of the fight. Up, right? Yeah. Yeah. It was so, but basically what he's saying is like, then then we're done here. Obi-Wan was like, we're done here yeah. then. Like, I'm not going to entertain this anymore well, yeah, if yeah. you're telling me Anakin is gone. Yeah. Because and the only care. reason I'm here was to get my friend Anakin back. Yeah. And that, that's what I thought was yeah. happening. But, again, nothing the show is telling me. Just thoughts like, that I have to out. bring to the table yeah. to make the show better. Yeah, I don't Why be, am I making the show better? I don't want to have to be a critical thinker. Yeah. What the? Don't, yeah. Just tell me what the hell's going on. Yeah. And you know, through storytelling. Yeah. But the show has not done that at all. So did you like the episode though? A series aside, did you like episode six? The thing is, episode six had cool. So episode five and six had cool moments. Yeah. And I think that's what was helping this show cool moments yeah but i don't think that the story of this show is good i really don't i don't yeah. think that any of it was enjoyable as far as the story because it's trying okay. to protect leia and you know what leia's fine after yeah. episode five yeah, she's yeah. fine yeah. <laughs> like she's safe now yeah. they don't even like need her anymore so they didn't even need her to get to darth vader that's no, what also no. drove me crazy. Darth Vader is chasing Obi Wan, and mm-hmm. they're like, "We need to steal Leia so we can get him to, to come out of hiding." Or yeah. yeah, and that's what Reva does. Reva, Reva, Reva. Do, yeah, does to get Obi Wan. So I don't think that's Darth Vader's plan. But again, I'm so I gotta be like, okay, what's well, how do I make sense of this show? Yeah. yeah, and that's the stuff that drives me crazy because I'm like, you know what? I'm doing too much work for you. None of this is actually happening. Again, it, people are just okay with it, though. <laughs> people are literally, and it's the start. And we've got it. We've got we've gotten some comments. But I, about yes, it. I just want everyone to know that I'm angry because I wanted it to be good. Because I like Star Wars. Yeah. I wanted it to be good, especially because it's yeah. about Obi Wan, and it wasn't good. Yeah. If if you say it's good, that's the max I believe. But if you say the show is great, phenomenal. Perfect. I don't believe anything. Yeah. I don't believe anything you say anymore. You could be mm-hmm. like, it was good. That I will it accept. Because it, it was good. Because it was yeah, a good show. It was good. It was in, at least for me, it was entertaining enough. I didn't feel like any of my time was wasted, like getting up and watching yeah. the shows right. in the morning. I'm like, cool. I'm glad I got up and it was fine. Yeah. Again, I don't. It was a, fine. I don't need a season two. It was fine. It was fine. Yeah. Yeah. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it more than you for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And like my dad called me, he's like, I really, I could see why my dad would like it because he's not reading into certain things. Yeah, he's just enjoying it. He's like, oh, this was he's entertainment. My dad, he put Darth Vader on the screen. My dad's like, hell yeah. Put some lightsabers on. My dad's like, hell yeah. Like, that's, he's totally cool with that. Yeah, but that. that doesn't come till later. Yeah. I mean, again, so, I'd be like, the thing is, yeah, I'm, I yeah. would argue like your dad didn't have to waste his time if they had just made this a two episode. I was like, series. you could have just watched episode three or. 
four, five, and six. The probably. Movie, you could have watched the movie Revenge oh, of the Sith. Oh yeah, yeah. Like if you wanted some like good stuff. Yeah, I just it Damn. was not. I yeah, I wanted it to be more, and 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 it's not. And that's would, okay because as long as the fans out there are saying this is the greatest thing, then they're gonna continue to give you mediocre shit. Yeah, exactly. just so you they get the minutes out of you, right? And they'll never have to put real effort and, into and it. And we talked about this before, but yeah. I I do not want mediocre shit anymore. From yeah, Disney well, Plus. as long as you guys are still out there <laughs> saying that this is the greatest show you've ever seen, oh, they don't, they don't need to put. Let's real go, effort. man. Let's they don't go. Need to put I, I want to talk to somebody about this. <laughs> shit. I want to talk to a super fan right now. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Because let me tell you something, and let's and, and I'm gonna transition us to this next little tidbit, and yeah. we don't have to talk about it very much but let me tell you something right now because we're we're done talking about obi-wan now yeah i'm enjoying miss marvel more than i'm I enjoyed obi-wan uh-huh. i don't know if you're having that experience i'm gonna tell you exactly what i think of miss marvel but i am enjoying it more than obi-wan kenobi yeah. and i did not think i would say that sentence you're not all. the only one that said it though it's not the first time i've heard that uh, oh really yeah good i'm glad not i'm not alone in this I've world but I bet you some people would fight me over those words. Oh, probably. A Star and, Wars faithful that oh, is yeah. so tunnel vision about Star Wars. Right. Again, I there was a whole issue with Star Wars fans at the beginning of this. We're not going to get into that. I know. I We're know. not going to get into that. That's not the type of show we do here. Right. But right. Star, some of the fandom is so deep that they literally cannot see anything else. So real quick. But Star Wars. People can't see it <clears> because I think because YouTube turned it off. But... <clears throat> Our Obi Wan clip was the most disliked clip that we've ever done. Yeah, <laughs> because uh, yeah, go. because people which are is, dis- which is fine. I that which is totally it's fine. fine. Yeah, I understand it, but if that, I get if it. That's a hill you're willing to die on. Then prepare for the next ten years of mediocre Star Wars crap. I agree. So that's just, I that's agree. There's nothing wrong with wanting him to be better. Yeah, you nothing should. wrong with you that. Should. So. I want to know a little bit about your Miss Marvel thoughts. We, we don't have to get into no, the yeah, review we'll, of it. I yeah, just want to know we'll real quick, quick, what did you think? I don't know if you saw I the latest. I have seen episode three. Okay. Because okay. that was this morning, and I had, yeah. I just had, God, Elvis was three hours last night. Was, yeah, you're like, you come down, to, everybody. To one in the morning last night. Um, so I did get up late. I watched Obi-Wan, so I haven't seen episode three. Okay. But through episode two, again, the only, the, God, I don't want, I got to choose my words carefully. The thing that by far I'm enjoying the most in this show is Kamala. Yeah. Like without a doubt. Yeah. It's like I was, I'm tunnel visioned on her yeah. because she's doing such a great job. I'm so invested in her character. Mm-hmm. I want her to do well. Yep. Me too. And that's like, maybe I need to broaden my scope a little bit for the episode three that I'll watch tonight. No, and I kind of I, notice I, other stuff. I do like her mom. Like I, I do like her the family aspect of it yes but i love her so much i'm like i don't care about anybody else and that's i think a, that's that is fine because you don't know who this character is yeah. and so as long as you have something to grapple onto mm-hmm. i don't see any issue with because the whole <clears throat> point is that it is a character driven story yeah so, so so i will say the this. fact that you're grappled onto the character is fine I like her enough that like I'm continuing to watch this show because of her, not anything else. Yeah, exactly. If, if her, if I didn't like her character, it's her story. I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't be going on episode three. Yeah, and that is, I think that's absolutely I, okay. I would have watched. I would have given it the two episode thing, and I'm like, yeah. hey, this show's not for me. Right. It's I'm whatever, gonna move on. It's whatever. But like, I like her enough to be like, I want to see what she does with this. Yeah. I want to see how she learns her powers. Yeah. I want to see how it's beneficial. I want to see if she learns something from this. Does right. she become? A superhero? Is it going to get a Kate Bishop? Yeah. Not or like, I don't know. I just want to see what's going to happen. Right. But again, solely because of her. Yeah. Not really any of the other characters. But and again, do... I'll open my scope a little. I'll yeah. Pay attention. This new guy's very no. interesting in the Porsche. Yeah. He's got a Porsche Carrera <laughs> in high school. Right? Well, and that's explained. So, so that's like, explained in okay. episode three. Okay. Yeah. Because at the end of the episode, it's like, meet my mom. Yeah. So, like, this guy's somebody. Yeah, and that's explained. So, it is interesting. I'm like, okay, let me get to know about this guy. And her friends are, you know, interesting enough. Yeah. But I'm like, she's great. She's doing so good. I, I like I'm, the... I'm, I'm coming back for episode three because of Kamala. That's Kamala, it, at, by at far, moment. is the best part of this show. Which is the same review I had as episode one. Yeah. <laughs> I like the culture. I like the family. Mm. We talked about that as well. There's a lot of interesting things about this show that keeps yeah. ke- keeps getting me back for more. Yeah. But what I really enjoy about this show is the fact that she is a teenage superhero who is messing up. Yeah. It's not like it's all been perfect for her, right? Yeah. So she is going through these struggles that 
I believe somebody would if they just develop powers at a young age and use them irresponsibly. Yeah. Right. And that's exactly what would happen. And so I'm like, great. I like that. It's a mm. little bit grounded. Of course, it's about Normal. a superhero. Yeah. But by far, I'm enjoying Kamala. Mm-hmm. Definitely just like you. She's bringing, she's getting me back each episode. Still continued in episode three. Cool. So, Good to know. But episode three does have something, and I don't, I'm not going to tell you about it. Similar to the, because I want you to watch it and then I want to yeah. see, but similar to a problem I had with Obi Wan, they do in this, and I have an issue with it, but. I also understand. I don't know. You had so many issues with Obi Wan. I don't know what it could be. <laughs> I know, I know. But you, you'll—I mean, you might know when you see it. Yeah, you'll yeah. be like, "Oh, Sam probably hated that." Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Um, I could also see where they were like, "I don't know how to get around this, so we have to do it. Let's do it. Let's get it out of the way, and then we'll move on." Yeah, cool. Yeah. Okay. But the, the the thing I'm kind of bored of, and maybe I've, I don't I don't can't even point out where I've seen it, but like I'm I'm kind of done with the training montages. Oh. Of heroes like <laughs> learning and like jotting down notes of like how their powers. <laughs> and again, I really liked it in Shazam. I don't know where else I've seen it outside outside of Shazam. Yeah, when his friends another, like, let's see if you can fly. Yeah, I can't think yeah. of another example. I don't know. But I I watched it here and I'm like, I, all right, do we do this for every superhero? Like newly discovered every superhero? new yeah, yeah every new superhero. And again, it wasn't it. a problem, but I I felt like I have seen this so many times before. But even after that, she still doesn't know how to use it. Yeah. Yeah. It still didn't work. <laughs> so it yeah. still didn't help her because like, she doesn't know what she's dealing with. Yeah. Which again, yeah, I appreciate yeah. that she's like, she's going to come to something whole montage. with her family because the family is clearly avoiding something. So they're very like, we will review uh, it. When oh, it's so done. It's probably what it, okay. <laughs> yeah. But it's, I mean, her family is clearly avoiding something. Yeah. So, but I, again, I'm coming back. For yeah. The all. end of the end of episode three was like, oh yeah, I saw that coming from a mile away. Oh yeah, I might have probably seen it too. Then. All right. Again, that's why I'm on this show is for Kamala. That's yeah, I that's agree. All I got. But and my point, I'm not, I'm not trying to say this is a perfect uh, series either. My point was just this show is more fun than Obi Wan Kenobi was yeah, for me. Yeah, hundred percent. So which is fine. that was the, that's the only. Point but this isn't even the show I'm having the most fun with. Oh, buddy. This one we'll do it quick. This is quick. We don't have anything to we talk don't, about. We have nothing to talk about. I haven't seen the new episode. I got a knockout again Jeez, this week. I got a knockout. Miss Marvel, um, the boys, and the local news all tonight. Oh, my I'm a local news God. guy. Um, anyways. So it is unholy week it's unholy for the week. boys. People keep Dude, asking, what does that mean? I'm scared. I'm a little scared. I don't know. Oh, I'm <sighs> like, should I be, should I be concerned? So well, because ev- everything I read and all and all the tweets and everything I sent you is if if you're okay with any of this, like if none of this stuff bothers you that you've seen. So the episode's called Hero Gasm. Yes. So they released essentially what it's about. I don't want to explain what it's about. It's called Hero Gasm. Go go look Figure it, it out. up if you want to know. Go look it but, up. This is Hero Gasm. But somebody tweeted like, if you're okay with anything that you see, you need to you go have, talk to you somebody. You have problems. Like you need to go have sit down, talk to a mm-hmm. psychologist, therapist, whoever you want to talk to, whatever yeah. they're called. But if you can get through this episode and be like not you just sat there the whole time. Absolutely nightmares or whatever. Like you should have some sort of reaction to what you're about to watch. Yeah. Mostly because again, I haven't seen it. <laughs> it, 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 this isn't a three minute scene this isn't a clip of oh my god that's what i was this wondering isn't like you're right the first words oh my god okay let's get back to the episode well and the reason why Supposedly, I, was, I was this questioning is the whole episode a whole episode of just chaotic but nonsense i was questioning that because you told me that the last episode was called the musical episode and i didn't know that well was that what the episode was called well no that's you what they told kept me tweeting out yeah that's what yeah. you told me but the musical was three minutes or yeah. two minutes, right? Yeah. And so I was like, oh, if that's what's happening, then hero gasm might be a two minute thing too. And, and maybe it is. I don't know. But I have no idea. I'm scared. But they're from the like the clip headlines of whatever characters you can put on oh, Twitter, yeah. they're like, This is the episode. Yeah. This isn't a this isn't a scene in the episode. No. They're you're watching this for fifty five minutes. They're hyping it up to be like, You're not ready for this. Yeah. You are not like, ready. Nobody should be prepared. Like again, they put a warning before the episode. Yeah, it's a funny one. I thought it was a serious one, but it's like I a know, funny no, one. it's a yeah, it's a joke. It's, 
it's a, it's a joke. joke one. But it, it's just something where you have to have some sort of like, oh. I know. What if this is like a whole, like the government's like way of finding psychopaths? <laughs> it's just like, I all mean, right, it's going to come out. Everybody get on social networks and just see what people are saying. But if someone's like, oh, that was dope. Like, I'm like, what? Yeah. So the FBI, exactly. So the FBI is just going to be there like red flag, red flag, yeah. red flag, just like tagging people. All right. And I don't know. It could be a five minute scene It could, from. Exactly. From, yeah. It depends. What, from right. what I'm gathering, it's the episode. Mm, and I don't like that tough. the headliner for this was the deep. <laughs> that guy's already sick. Like they used him in like a lot of the promo for yeah. it. Yeah, and I'm like, that's not a good sign. No, at it all. It is not. It I, is not. I, I don't want no, because that guy will put his thing in any anywhere. Right. A whale. What? I don't know what's gonna happen. Yes. I don't want to know. I was disturbed with the Timothy stuff. I disturbed. don't want to know. But I you agree. know what's funny hmm. is I'm gonna go to work Friday. I'm gonna do my <laughs> job. <laughs> Afterwards, I'm gonna come gonna home, watch it. I'm gonna shower at the end of the day, like I do, get in my pajamas, and I'm yeah. gonna turn on an episode of a show called Hero Gasm. I know, and I'm just gonna sit there for 55 minutes and watch this thing. I I don't know. I mean, do, do I not eat for 24 hours before? Do I not eat for 24 hours? That I don't know. I don't know either. I'm not having dinner. I don't you think I'm gonna come home and eat a big burrito. You have like, yeah. And then go, wa- no, I'm not going to. Yeah, I don't know. Chips and dip? Like, I don't I'm know. Like, eat ice cream probably not. for dinner. Because I don't know what's going to happen after this. <laughs> Play it safe. Or during this. Play it safe. I don't But I, don't I know. cannot wait. I have no idea when I'm going to watch it. Because I'm a family man. Yeah, you do. I don't is... know when I'm going to get to. The kids walk into a room. I don't know what they're going to see no. on screen. So I got to no, be careful be when I put this show on. Because I have to be aware of my surroundings. And so it's going to be a tough one. Might have to split it's, it up in a couple of uh, sessions. But, but I'll get through it. It's going to be one of those things you're like where you watch the first 20 minutes. You're like, oh, yeah. I can't go back to it. Oh, yeah. But you have, you have to. It's, I, you uh, have to sit through this entire episode. I know. Not all at once. Yeah. But you have to get through the episode. Oh, I will. I will. You have to get through. I absolutely will. But how scary is it going to be if you get through 20 minutes? And it's 20 minutes of chaos. And I'm like, I can't do it. <laughs> and you're like, okay, I'll stop and get through another. Yeah, and I, and I know what's coming. Like, yeah. Now, now I got to go back <laughs> and continue where I left. That's off. why I'm going to try to get it in one shot. But we'll see. It's going to be rough. Oh, man. I am excited. Happy Unholy Week. Everybody. Happy Unholy Week, everybody. We can't wait. We'll review the whole The Boys yeah, we'll, series. Yeah, we'll knock it out. We'll knock what's, it out. Uh, what's coming up for us, though? Man, uh, we got Thor, Thor, Love and Thunder. I think that's that our be next one. Before. We got two weeks before that guy comes out. I know, but I can't think of much coming out so we can see some. Again, I'm going to just keep watching streaming stuff now. <laughs> I so. saw Father of the Bride HBO Max. Did you like it? I thought it was good. Again, I don't know if this is a remake of the old one. I don't know. I think it is. I'm, I was totally fine with it. I got some laughs. I got some like some. I'm going like, to check it thinking out. Thinking on some stuff. I'll check it out. Um, but I'm like, okay. Again, one of those movies where I like it ended. I'm like, cool. I don't feel like my time was wasted. That's all you need. Um, next one I want to do is Hustle, though. Adam yeah. Sandler on Netflix. I'm gonna do Hustle. Yeah. I I, want, I still want to get some Father's Stew. I still want to do that I one. I know that one. Going. Yeah, yeah, I want to get to that one. But some so a couple movies I got to go back for. But yeah, going forward, got to finish uh, Miss Marvel. Got to finish the boys. We got Thor: Love and Thunder. We're gonna knock them yeah. out. Well, thanks to our special guest for coming out. I know. Finally, finally got some perspective. Night. Yeah, that, that finally. was important. It might not be the last time either we have a... Oh, I don't. I doubt that'll be the a, last a, we see him. A professional him. on here. Yeah. So. <laughs> yep. Like, uh, comment, hit us the, the Twitter sphere, the Instagrams, the Tuck Talks. That's right. The IGs. Uh, here on YouTube, though. That's the one. Like, comment, subscribe. Let us know your thoughts. People are letting us know their thoughts. I love stuff. it. Again. And that's I, cool. That I want to bo- chat. That I doesn't bother chat. me. Like, let us know and we'll, we'll respond to it. Yeah, I'm absolutely. All about it. Yeah. Thanks, guys. We'll see you guys later. Later.